Chaplin, in financial difficulties, flew to Vancouver, British Columbia on October 9, 1959 to negotiate the lease of his yacht Zaka to the businessman George Caldo. As Caldo was driving Flynn and Oddland, who had accompanied him on the trip, to the airport on October 14 for a Los Angeles-bound flight, Flynn began complaining of severe pain in his back and legs. Caldo transported him to the residence of a doctor, Grant Gould, who noted that Flynn had considerable difficulty negotiating the building's stairway. Gould, assuming that the pain was due to degenerative disc disease and spinal osteoarthritis, administered 50 mg of Demerol intravenously. As Flynn's discomfort diminished, he reminisced at great length about his past experiences to those present. He refused a drink when offered it. Gould then performed a leg massage in the apartment's bedroom and advised Flynn to rest there before resuming his journey. Flynn responded that he felt ever so much better. After 20 minutes Oddland checked on Flynn and discovered him unresponsive. Despite immediate emergency medical treatment from Gould and a swift transfer by ambulance to Vancouver General Hospital, he did not regain consciousness and was pronounced dead that evening. The coroner's report noted the cause of death as myocardial infarction with a comorbidity of cirrhosis of the liver. Both of Flynn's parents survived him, as did his estranged third wife, Patrice Wymore, and his four children. He is buried at Forest Lawn Memorial Park Cemetery in Glendale, California.